Hello everyone. If you're just interested in learning how to create these kinds of images, then directly go to Chapter 4 from the description section. If you are interested in how to use Meta AI on WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook Messenger, then refer to Chapter 3. I'm here to help you save some time, guys. If you're interested in learning more about Llama 3 and Meta AI overall, stay tuned for a brief overview before we dive into the details of using Meta AI. So today my grandpa was all like, what's up with all the talk about Llama? And I'm like, well, it's this crazy cool language thingy that talks back to you like a real person and can do many other things beyond your imagination. But he was still scratching his head, so I realized I had to break it down for him in a way that even he could get it. So for those who are unfamiliar with Llama 3 in the world of software engineering, think of it as a virtual chat robot developed by Meta AI, similar to those helpful tools we encounter in banking and medical apps, but far more advanced. Now for my tech-savvy folks, it is similar to another popular AI language model tool called ChatGPT by OpenAI, but with some super cutting-edge features. Llama 3 is an accessible, open-source large language model designed for developers, researchers, and businesses. It enables them to build, experiment, and responsibly scale their generative AI ideas. Well, a regular folks like you and me can also use it in our everyday lives. So let's hear what Mr. Zuckerberg has to say about the release of Llama 3. I'll break down his video and demonstrate how you can apply it from a general purpose perspective. All right, big day here. We are releasing the new version of Meta AI, our assistant that you can ask any question across our apps and glasses. And our goal is to build the world's leading AI and make it available to everyone. Now, today we are upgrading Meta AI with Llama 3, our new state-of-the-art AI model that we're open sourcing. And I'm gonna go deeper on Llama 3 in just a minute, but the bottom line is that we believe that Meta AI is now the most intelligent AI assistant that you can freely use. To make Meta AI even smarter, we've also integrated real-time knowledge from Google and Bing right into the answers. We're also making Meta AI much easier to use across our apps. We built it into the search box that's right at the top of WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and Messenger. So anytime you have a question, you can just ask it right there. And we built a new website, meta.ai, uh, for using it from the web. We're also releasing a bunch of unique creation features. Meta AI now creates animations, and it now creates high quality images so fast that it actually generates and updates the images for you in real time as you're typing. Uh, it's pretty wild, and you can go check it out now on WhatsApp or the website. We're investing massively to build a leading AI. And open sourcing our models responsibly is, is an important part of our approach. The tech industry has shown over and over that open source leads to better, safer, and more secure products, faster innovation, and a healthier market. And beyond improving meta products, these models have the potential to help unlock progress in fields like science, healthcare, and more. So today, uh, we're open sourcing the first set of our Llama 3 models at 8 billion and 70 billion parameters, they have best-in-class performance for their scale, and we've also got a lot more releases coming soon that are going to bring multimodality and bigger context windows. We're also still training a larger dense model with more than 400 billion parameters. And to give you a sense of Llama 3's performance, this first release of the 8 billion is already nearly as powerful as the largest Llama 2 model that we released. And this version of the 70 billion model is already around 82 MMLU uh, with leading reasoning and math benchmarks. The 400 billion parameter model um, is, is currently around 85 MMLU, um, but it's still training. Um, so we expect it to be industry leading on a number of benchmarks. We're gonna write a blog post with more technical details on all of this if you wanna go deeper. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy Meta AI and let me know what you think. Llama 3 is a good example of how quickly these AI models are scaling. The biggest version of Llama 2, released last year, had 70 billion parameters, whereas the coming large version of Llama 3 will have over 400 billion. Confused? Don't worry. Let's get into how you can use it. Okay, so as Mr. Zuckerberg mentioned, you can find the Meta AI across Meta's different platforms like WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook Messenger. If you're using a desktop browser, you can access it directly through the website meta.oi. I've included the link in the description section for your convenience. Let's get started. 
First off, let's open up the search boxes within the WhatsApp mobile app or click on the Meta AI icon. Once you're there, you'll notice a range of different options available. You can simply use your finger to scroll left and right to explore these default options. Now let's try out one of these options. I'll choose Imagine a Robot DJ. After you click on it, give it a moment. It takes few seconds to generate the image. You can also edit these images by giving different prompts. I am adding some neon lights, adding robots in the audience, and then adding some pandas. You must have observed it's not creating consistent characters. I hope they will resolve these issues in their upcoming versions. If you ever want to clear your creative history, it's simple. Just click on the Meta AI logo, scroll down, and hit Clear Chat. Once you clear the chat, you will see these default options provided by Meta AI again. These features work similarly on Instagram and Facebook Messenger search options on your cell phone. So feel free to give them a try there too. Now let's check its web version of Meta.ai. You must have a Facebook account in order to use the web version of Meta AI. Remember, that's not the case with WhatsApp Messenger. You'll notice that there are a few default options on their homepage like they had on WhatsApp Messenger. But what really excites me is their Imagine feature. Let's unleash our creativity and craft some truly extraordinary images. Since llamas have been our topic of discussion, I'm going to create a llama. What's fascinating about Meta AI is its ability to generate an image simultaneously as you visualize it. Hold on for the exciting part. You can not only edit these images, but you can also animate them. You don't have to stress about making a video from these images. Simply command Meta AI to create a video, and it will whip one up for you in no time. As you saw on WhatsApp, you can't delete the entire chat history in one go. You have to delete it individually, one by one. One thing to note, friends. You can create various images, including your favorite Marvel characters like Spider-Man and Hulk. But there are some limitations. You cannot create images of famous people like Elon Musk or Abraham Lincoln. Also, you cannot create images of Jesus Christ or deities from various religions. Ahead of upcoming elections, Meta is expanding its efforts to identify images created using AI from external sources like Google, OpenAI, and Adobe. It will label these AI-generated images to combat misinformation and deepfakes. M many major tech companies like Google, Microsoft, and Tesla are racing to develop AI products and services, spending billions on high-tech chips and employee resources to develop large language models and other AI-focused products. AI technology is changing quickly. Right now, Meta is doing well with their Llama 3 model, leading in the open source world. But who knows what will happen next? There's talk that OpenAI might soon unveil GPT-5, which could shake things up even more. When asked about this, Zuckerberg mentioned that Meta is already planning with Llama 4 and 5. He sees it as a long-term effort, like a marathon, not just a quick race. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below.